Spiritual Renewal Reflection from Monday the 8th of August 2022. In the Moravian Daily Text, the watchword for today says, He is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. The accompanying doctrinal text is 1 John chapter 4, verse 16, and reads as follows. So we have known and believed the love that God has for us. God is love, and those who abide in love abide in God, and God abides in them. As we reflect on the spiritual renewal of our Moravian ancestors, let's hear what God would say to us through the watchword. Isaiah denounced Judah as her people were indulging in idolatry, social injustices, and immorality. He prophesied that God would send a child who would be a future king. His coming would see the doom and gloom replaced by happiness, joy, and salvation. In every decade, we have experienced many challenges, and it is the same at this time. The names might change, but we still have economic challenges, inflation, job losses, wars, hurricanes, sickness, and the list goes on. The one constant in our life has been our faithful and loving God. As Psalm chapter 33, verse 18 and 19 state, Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear Him, upon them that hope in His mercy, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. So in every situation, we place our hope in God, a confident hope in His power over evil, His casting out of demons, a hope in His promises revealed through His holy prophets, a hope in the scriptures as we see His miracles, the parting of the Red Sea, the feeding of the 5,000, and countless others. On August 13, 1327, our Moravian history tells us of a dramatic transformation that occurred among our ancestors as they experienced a special visitation of the Holy Spirit on the group. The group had been quarrelsome and divided. God brought healing and unity. He is looking for leaders to bring unity and reconciliation. God can heal you. The challenge of this life, God brings us to a place where we can produce our best work for his kingdom. As James chapter 1 verse 12 states, Blessed is the, is he who perseveres on the trial. Because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised him. God blesses those who endure testing and temptation. God is love. You cannot love God and hate your brother. Let us show love for each other and live in unity. Let us pray. Gracious God and Prince of Peace, we thank you for your faithfulness in loving us. We ask that you unite us and guide us to think and act with careful thought. Keep us focused and loving each other. Amen.